What's up, guys? Been a while. Um, today we're gonna make a we're gonna integrating some CG with your live action footage. We're we'll doing a lot of cheats, and uh, we're gonna go into a 3D program, Blender. If you don't have it, you can go to Blender.org, and uh, 2.61 is the newest release. It's got a uh, awesome new features like Ocean Sim, motion tracking, which is good for you know matching live action stuff but I'm just gonna do everything later and cycles render engine which is gonna make everything look crispy and whatnot um, I'm gonna be using the footage off uh, tutorial 109 from video copilot so just download the project file and that way everyone's on the same page and this is what we're kinda going for it's a little ball glass thing and it goes and it's in the shot got a little reflection on a little shadow which is too dark I must say and we're just gonna be cheating it so we could render out this thing animating in 3d but it took a good time to render out this little guy but um all right let's go into blender and I'll be walking you guys through it uh, it's probably gonna be up a little more and there you go and um this is kind of your default just hit a to select everything X deletes uh, shift A brings up your menu for adding stuff and you can add a bunch of primitives we're gonna add a cube and alt click will, uh, click and drag will rotate alt shift and click will pan and scroll will zoom in and out so uh, yeah just get used to that uh, these little handles you can click and move on each axis kind of familiar in After Effects so you see where that comes from alright and you got this big nice menu over here we're going to click on the tool wrench modifiers and we're going to go down to subdivision and you can see we got this nice little thing uh, if you hit tab it goes into edit mode but you can see it's still a box and that's because it's a modifier so you can click on points vertices and you can drag them and that's deforming it weird and so we want to apply this modifier but you can't do that in uh, edit mode so tab out hit apply tab back in and now you can see it's all individual so you can click on this one faces this is just uh, lines or edges and uh, now you can see we can select individual faces so hit A select everything and hit alt E E extrudes, Alt E makes it so you can uh, extrude over individual faces. So we're going to bring this out just a little bit. Something like that. And then we're going to hit Alt E again. And we're going to hit S, S scales. And we're going to bring it in down just a little bit. And uh, don't deselect anything. We're going to want these faces for later. Hit tab out, and we got the. We got it back. That's the thing we're making. Easy. All right. So um, now we're gonna add materials to it. So we'll go into materials tab right here and hit new. And uh, you're gonna. This will be the overall material. We're gonna need to make another one. So add hit new. That. Go into tab and all these faces that we still have selected we're gonna hit assign so now this material will affect just those parts we have selected and the other one will be everything else so we'll make this glass and this uh, diffuse type thing and like I said this is a new version of Blender so we have cycles so if you go down here cycles render engine alright and we're gonna go to the top one and we're gonna hit use nodes and use nodes for the bottom one well, let's work on the top first. We'll make this a mix shader and we have a diffused and the bottom one we'll make it a uh, glossy and we'll make this blue and the cool thing and uh, well we need to add lights to see this but you can render it in real time so you can kinda see what we got going on right now without anything but um, we're gonna add in an HDR image well, no, this one's not HDR. Just go to the World tab right here. Hit the Use Nodes. 
and go to color on this little dot, hit environment, and then hit open. And then locate uh, the project file you had for the from Video Copilot and hit on the Sunset Garage Reflect. And now you can see we're in that garage. If you uh, want to, um, if you're trying to match your own footage, this is just two uh, shots from a like eight mil lens, a, a really wide angle lens. So just take a picture, turn around, take a picture, stitch it together. Or if you want an HDR image, if you know how to do that, take three different exposures of one, turn around, three different exposures, make them both HDR, then merge them, and then there you go. Alright, but yeah, for now, so now you can see what's kind of going on. You got this nice blue edge, and now let's work on the inner material. So we're going to go back to materials, control um, selects things, control click, Z will get into um, wireframe and um, wireframe in solid mode so now we're gonna go to our second material and hit uh, glass actually we're gonna, oh, we're gonna make it two mix shader glass and glossy and we're gonna make it a little more glossy this just is the amount from glass to well, the first shader to the next so just a little more glossy so hit this button, go to uh, render, and see what we're getting. And right now it's only going to go up to 10 samples, so it's going to stop rendering right now, which doesn't look good. So we're going to go to the render tab, little camera, and go twirl down this one. And on the preview, we're going to hit zero. For the final render, I did a thousand for my last one, but you'll have to play with it to see what works. Zero just means it's going to go infinitely, infinitely, and uh, we're only running out one frame. Like I said, we could animate this, do some crazy stuff, but we're just going to run out frames one through one, so like still image. We're going to do RGB, but it's not going to do it since Cycles doesn't support it really, kind of, in render passes, so uh, you, uh, you'll see what I mean in render in a minute. I'm going to do an opening XR format, which was made by ILM. And uh, so it's open source, just like Blender. So you can do 16 bit float on it or 32 bit. And it supports multiple channels to do stuff, but yeah, Cycles doesn't do it yet. And uh, so put a preview on it. Everything else is fine with it. Set a directory in here just to the desktop. And then you just hit animate, and then it'll render out but we need a camera to tell what angle you want to render out at. So I'm going to hit Z, A, uh, Z one more time. I'm going to hit Shift A and add a camera. And uh, you can see it's all like crooked. So you can reset everything by Alt G, which is move. G is move. And Alt R, rotation. And then we're going to move it out. And then we're going to hit R and then X for the X axis and hit 90 degrees. Well, 90 and then R, Z, and then 180 to flip it around. And now it's looking at it. Now we hit uh, O on the numpad, or zero on the numpad to get the camera. Well, to go to the camera view. And uh, there you go. I'm gonna click on it. We're gonna, we could bring an image of the this in if we rendered out a picture of the background. But um, we're just gonna estimate for now. So just hit RR and now you can rotate it like that and we're just gonna do a cool little angle like that and then just hit animate and then it'll render one frame to the destination and we'll bring that in and um well, let me hop into after effects right now and uh bring in the sam footage and you can see when you render it out the uh, it's loading it still has the background. It doesn't have a alpha. So that's just a bug in cycles right now. But uh, we can render out a mat, but we have to go back to the regular Blender render engine right here. And then just um, hit render. Oh yeah, because uh, the materials are still in cycles. So just delete these two materials. I guess you can make a new one, but render it out 
and now you can see we have that rendered. You could. Does it have an alpha automatically? This time, if you rendered, it'd have an alpha. But if not, you can go to uh, the node editor over here. Go on uh, node tree, use nodes, backdrop, auto render, render your scene one more time, hit escape, get out of it. Now you can see it's got an alpha. And you can you could actually take it from the alpha that way it renders straight to it. And then set up a directory just like the other way. Hit alpha, render this one out, and then it will. Uh, you'll have a mat to use for in After Effects. So. Here's my mat. You can see it fits perfectly over it if I solo it. It has an alpha channel. And um, so now I can go into toggle switches and use the alpha mat. There we go. And I'm just going to comp these. Oh, yeah, I forgot I can't do that in the screen capture. Uh, composition layer, precompose, the thingy. Uh, Alright, I'm going to scale this down a little bit, move it over here, and uh, hopefully you know how to track, just click on the footage, go here, add a null object, and click on here, get the tracker, if you don't know where that's at, window, tracker, hit track motion, drag this point onto this handle, right here and then hit forward and then hit apply after it's all done and that's it okay but I don't got time for that so no copy paste now I got a tracking data I'm gonna parent our ball thingy to it so now it moves with it there we go so now it's in the shot. We could use the Blender's camera tracker and render out the whole thing, track this footage in there, but we can fake it, so here we go. Less work. Alright, and uh, now we're gonna work on matching this with the shot. So go to, uh, we're gonna add the levels to our footage, well our ball, and I'm gonna add a curve. And uh, if you go to info, you can see, well, this is like contact black right here. But if you, right here, we're around like, if you look over here at our values, around 25, 23. So in our kind of shadows like that are right here, and they're at like 40, 60. So I just crushed the blacks in here a little bit. Let's get another thing. We're getting around there, 25, 40. You can probably bring our highlights down a little more too with it. And now we're looking somewhere closer to that. So now it's looking a little bit better. And uh, I'm just going to add an adjustment layer. I'm going to do our color correction. I'm just going to turn that off just to do it. Just so I can see what it looks like with the footage. I'm going to go uh, add some green. Add some blue. Take away some red. Going back into the RGB and add some contrasts. Perfect. Okay, why not? <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to add our ball in, and uh, you can see it's helping it. Did I not add the... I added the curves on the layers and not the adjustment layer. So I'm going to paste that in. You can see it's helping it match in a little bit more, but it's still really blue. So that's why I added the other curves onto here. So I'm going to add some green to it. I'm going to take away some blue, too. So now this is making it a little bit more green, too green. Just something subtle. I mean, it's still blue, so 
don't feel like you have to make it green. So, we're going somewhere now. Uh, let's just the gamma. That looks better. All right, now we're gonna make the, actually that looks really good, I like that. Uh, now we're gonna add the um, flexion in. So just Command D, put that in the bottom one. Uh, whatever. It's already parented to it now, so we're gonna drag this down, scale this. So we're just faking the reflection right now. So I'm just gonna hit R, just so it looks like it's from a different view. You could actually take a camera in 3D and render from that angle and then f flip it and then put it on there, but a lot of work when we can just cheat easy. I'm going to make it switch to transfer mode to color dodge. And then lower the opacity. So it's faint. And as you can see, when it goes over the black tire, it doesn't show because the color dodge won't show up in there. So it looks like a pretty realistic reflection kind of. Good for faking it at least. And then we're going to add in a shadow, which we're just going to go back and add that uh, mat that we had. And uh, we're going to make it a 3D layer. I made that null. 3D layer. Okay. Make our mat a 3D layer. Whoops. Just going to drag it on the x-axis. Put it down here. Scale it down. Gonna just estimate. We're gonna add a fill. We're gonna make it black. Then we're gonna add a channel blur. And then we're just gonna blur the alpha channel so we get that nice feather. And then we're just gonna lower the opacity. And we're going to parent it to our null. I'm going to bring it below the adjustment layer to so it gets a little green in there. And now we got a nice shot. Oh, we can. Oh, I should have added the. Um, make it look like it's floating. Add a little wiggle. A little wiggle to it. I'm just going to copy that. Add to the reflection. And then for the shadow, you can, well, you can do the same thing. You can make it go like up and down, like scale up and down, kind of as it's like bouncing, but a little wiggle to hit too won't hurt. So now everything will, now it's bouncing, the reflections move in, extract in. It looks like it kind of belongs in there. So kind of just an introduction to get you guys interested in 3D if you're not and just seeing how you can easily put something into a shot so alright that's it yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys hopefully I'll be making some more tutorials I got a good one I've been working on for a while but just haven't found time to get it down perfect and record it but alright until next time guys peace